you are lucky. You are all lucky because I will be spending the next few videos talking exclusively in English. So here I am on the Ion at Frederick Station. A friend of mine noticed a route on Grand River Transit, the number nine Lake Shore, which has a very high amount of diversion. The overall route is about three times as long in terms of like straight line distance between stops and a straight line distance from its beginning at Northfields at uh, Conestoga Station and its end at and its end at the University of Waterloo. I uh, she complained about the uh, she complained about about it, and I was pointing out, well, no reasonable person is going to take that route end to end. Because it's only going to, because there's already Ion, there's already the 201 I Express. Today we will see an unreasonable person take this, take that bus route from end to end. So as you're coming into the University of Waterloo, now there's probably going to be a jump cut somewhere in here. I will tap the glass when the doors start to close, and that will be when the timer starts, and you will see that in the bottom uh, bottom left corner of your screen. Okay, there's the timer started. Let's go, next station, research and technology. We will stop the timer. We will stop the timer when my foot hits the, hits the platform. And now on to, and now on to, to compare with plus. Okay, I will start this the second uh, the second in the clip. Uh, okay, I'll start right now. This is the route number nine, Lakeshore, uh, between Conestoga and the University of Waterloo. I will attempt to determine a how long this takes compared to taking Ion, and b. Whether there's an actual lake involved. And as we're pulling into the University of Waterloo terminal, I am. Oh, do we have one of those weird outlines of stops or something? Anyway. Okay, so once again, the rule is touch the platform, stop the time, and stop the timer. Which I don't actually have on me, I only have put that in the editing software. So I don't even know which one. 